Tama. Alec one. <laughs> it's so good to be back. Oh my god, I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. Yeah, you just like I feel like myself again. I know you've went ghost on me for a very, very I'm long sorry. time. I'm sorry. Eh, whatever. It's okay. I'm only human. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song, is it? I'm only human. Nah. It I sounds just, like it. Yeah, I just made that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> you just wrote a song. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I'm only human. Well. Do I need to be closer? Are we good? I don't know. Get closer. Let me see. Put your put your mouth like close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I, I had if I had video footage right now. <laughs> I'm glad we don't. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it is pretty good. But what you would see is that she just fucking stuck her tongue out. Towards the I mic. didn't lick it though. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I didn't lick it, but you know, if you know what a mic just, looks like, just the tip. <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you wanted to talk about sustainability. Yeah, that was my idea. Mm. And then when I came here, and you were like, "Oh, hey, I have this like." container garden like all over the place you have buckets of like sweet potatoes and radishes and spinach Mm, yeah and then i don't know i think we should talk about that yeah yeah because growing gardens in your house in buckets because that's amazing okay so growing gardening guys i can't even say it why gardening. we've (laughs) been drinking okay all right full disclosure full disclosure okay we've um the time is it's 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 fucking nine o'clock right now, right? Um, we started drinking at five. It's early for most people. It feels <laughs> yeah. late to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm an old person. I'm a hundred years old. Yeah, I have to go to bed by ten, which means that we got to kill this whole conversation about you know like fifty minutes. Eh, I'm we'll gonna do try it. To, I'm gonna try to drag it on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's usually not a problem there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so so what we did was um, um, we were playing with uh, container gardening. And it was pretty cool, you know. It was very cool, and it was very easy because I'm like, I look around and I'm like, oh wow, that's such a cool idea. But oh man, it looks like, looks like it might take a lot of work. Looks like it takes effort. And I learned that it takes very little effort, and it's actually really super fun. Mm. (laughs) So I'm gonna go home and do that maybe this weekend if I don't have to work too much. All right, so let's talk about what 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 were the components (laughs) that like we had to put together just to. So basically, it's. You need two buckets. Oh, wait. One. That's a song. Two buckets. Mother, mother. <laughs> Is that a song too? I don't know. I just made that. <laughs> <laughs> two buckets. Sprout of potatoes and a soil mixture. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sick that rap. Was my yeah, rap yeah. <laughs> wait, can you do that again? Nope. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Nope, because that was embarrassing. Um, but yeah, two buckets. One of them is the inner bucket where you drill the holes and then the outer bucket to to catch the excess water. <laughs> um, a sprouted potato. Is that what you call it? I didn't know what to call it. Like, yeah, you know, it could be. It's like the cutoff end of whatever potato you're trying yeah. to grow. You wait for it to sprout and then you need your soil mixture. So mm-hmm. you've got your compost, vermiculite. Vermiculite. I love that word. And peat moss. And you mix it all together. Mm, and that's yeah. really all you need. Yeah. So, you know, full disclosure, the compost, the vermiculite, and the peat moss, that's all coming from, you know, Mel's mix from Square Foot Gardening, of course. Shout gonna, out to Mel. Yeah. That dude fucking crushed it. You know, but um, <clears throat> that's a really, really, really good mix, you know, because it allows the, the, the plants, you know, the plants to actually you know, have a, a real good environment so they can fucking grow and they can sprout. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and all, all of your plants are doing quite well. And also, side note, the compost tastes pretty good because you made me taste it. <laughs> and it was very earthy and I loved it. Yeah. It's still in my teeth. <laughs> yeah. That's good. You know, because now I'm thinking about um, um, there was a movie, uh, not a movie, but it was a documentary that I watch. It's called Psalm. Um, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's about these guys who are practicing to be like world-class sommeliers, right? So they they want to describe wine, right? Mm -hmm. And then one of the things that they were going through was um, they had to expand their palate. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I never thought about that, right? So they they would go through the world and they would just taste shit. 
right? They would lick stuff, eat oh stuff, taste it. Oh my god, that's it. interesting. Yeah, and then it would say, "Oh yes, this wine. This wine has a very." There was this one guy on there. He was fucking super nerdy, right? But he says, <laughs> "He said, oh, this 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 wine has a very it 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 it, it has the taste of a a tennis ball." What? Yeah, <laughs> I right? would never think that. That's no, but now how interesting. Yeah, when you want to lick a tennis ball to see what a, a fresh can when you open a can a tennis ball can and you smell it right and you get that aroma right and then you lick the ball right and you're like ah, this is i kind of get that yeah 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 but it's wow. these are these are different flavor flavors these these are different you know elements that just go into your nose and you're just like yeah i never really thought about that like when you smell a book Yes, I right? love the smell of yeah you know this you're smelling a, an old dirty book mm. <laughs> she's like so many years it smells dusty. Yeah, I love it. It's really that. good. Yeah, so... Ah, uh, yeah. This book, it, it... Fuck it. I don't even have the vocabulary to even describe what this book smells like. Mm, it smells like time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is what time smells like. Yeah, you know. So that's what it was like when you tasted the compost. Yeah. Yeah. You were developing a palate. Yeah. And it was... Yeah. That's interesting, because I... I very like briefly had this conversation with someone the other night i was like we were talking about wine tasting and i was like well i I like wine and i Mm -hmm. you know i know what i like and what i don't like i'm like my palate is not refined enough to be able to say like well this tastes like you know earthy or this tastes like that or whatever but now i'm gonna be like this tastes like compost (laughs) (laughs) yeah i have a new flavor in my so would you say it was a san diego compost um sure yeah i've never tasted any other compost i know (laughs) which means that now you have to taste an la compost a santa barbara compost that Uh, sounds dangerous yeah san francisco (laughs) yeah la would be dangerous right but you have all these different different flavors that you can just go like go through and taste like eat a piece of paper right i have done that yeah eat a piece of paper and see what that tastes like chew on some fucking rubber Right. That's yeah. Terrible. And then you're like, you know, have I ever had anything that had a, a similar profile to this? Right. Showing a piece of rubber with some fruit. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just throwing shit out there. Uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. But this 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 whole project today was um, it all spawned from sustainability and and then it drilled down to food security. Yes. Mm. Bingo. Yeah. Because I, I was like, let's talk about sustainability. And then we were kind of like, all right, well, you know, sustainability, what are, what are we talking about? And you were like, well, food security. Because, you know, we talked about how that's kind of the basic thing. Like, mm. that's one of the most basic things that we as humans worry about is having something to eat, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, because... So if you're self-sufficient, if you're, if you're secure and you're creating your own food, you don't really have to worry about like, oh, man, I have to go to the grocery store. Or I need, you know money for this or you yeah. just have it here yeah like imagine having to go to the farmer's market every week right because <clears throat> this is what happened uh, with me this week is that or not this week but this weekend i was able to make a salad with my um sweet potato leaves right yeah, <laughs> yeah. which are very yummy come yeah. to find out ah, yeah 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 <laughs> I enjoyed yeah. it yeah, you were able to taste a sweet potato leaf. I liked and, it. Yeah, what did it taste like? Even though you were a little bit afraid I, of the... When I first tasted it, I thought, it kind of tastes like lettuce. And then, like, in the stem, I actually feel like it tasted a little bit like potato. Mm. But it was mostly, like, a very green, like, lettuce type of a taste. Mm. Very mild. It wasn't... It didn't have the bitterness that, like, a dandelion green would have, which... Because when I <laughs> broke the stem open, it had, like, a little bit of, like, this white, milky substance and i was like oh gross it's gonna be bitter so i gave that part to you (laughs) and but it wasn't it was very mild and yeah tasty yeah but it's something that you're like i can probably eat that oh definitely like when i do this at my house i will definitely utilize those leaves because (laughs) why why not yeah you just yeah you shouldn't waste it oh man i'm looking at this image right now that just popped up on my tv oh i love it i don't know It, it looks like a guy that's like digging in the sand what do you look at? What do you see? Um, I was trying to figure out if these were like rocks or hay bales or what those were, but I love the lighting. Like mm. it's very, it's almost like a sunset esque type of a, it's yeah. like, it's like dark, but it's also bright. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what that guy's doing. He's lost. Yeah. I don't know. He's planting a sweet potato in a bucket. Uh, probably. Uh, possibly. All right. 
Bam. Okay, so let's let's go back to talking about food security. So this is food security just means that you have access to healthy food. Yeah, that's and it. also we think that that's like a not. I shouldn't say we think it's a difficult thing, but it seems like if you. <laughs> You know, say you go to the store and it's like, oh, I want to eat healthy, but it's so expensive. And that's why so much of a, so many of us will eat like not so well. We might buy like a lot of processed foods or whatever. And it should kind of be the other way around. Like this is a very inexpensive way to live. Yeah. Yeah. This is making me think about the um, th- um, the ancient times, actually. Um, so Robin Hood popped into my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Hood. Yeah, I don't know why Robin Hood always seems to pop in my mind whenever I think about um, um, food security or anything like that because that was basically the OG premise of Robin Hood is that, you know, when they were ta- always talking about I'm robbing from robbing the, the rich, rich to, to give, to, give to, the to the poor. poor exactly. Right. But the only purpose was is that the people, the people during that time, they were hunting in the forest. Mm-hmm. Right. They were hunting in the forest so they can fucking eat. Right. And all they wanted to do was just eat, you know, so they can provide for them families. Right. And that was it. You know, so so then the the, the whole trope is, is is that the rich quarantine the the forest off so that the poor people or the regular people couldn't go in there and get their own huh. fucking food. Right. You know, so if you can't get your own food and now if somebody says that, you know what, this is my container. Right. And if you want to come in here, you have to pay me. Right. You have to pay me if you want to hunt in my forest. Right. If you want to hunt in my forest that I've just sort of kind of like deemed to say, my forest. Yeah, this is my forest. When <clears throat> I know you were in here before hunting. Um, that's some crazy shit. Right? That's cra- that is crazy. Yeah. You know, but now I think that we have the ability to create our own little mini micro forces. Sure. Well, that's and that's what all these containers are. Mm, fucking containers. Buckets. Yeah. Your bucket forest. <laughs> it's thriving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's at a bucket forest. Yeah. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that this is um, something that a luxury that we, meaning us being here in America, being in the West, um, that, that we have the luxury to do? Right. Because I can go to Trader Joe's. Sure. Easily, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Fuck it. I went to Trader Joe's last week. I go to Trader Joe's all the time, mm-hmm. right? But I also think that that it it's it's my responsibility to learn how to grow my own food and to maybe even share with others how to grow their own food, right? So they can become their own little mini micro Trader Joe's. I love that idea. I love that you feel like that's a responsibility because I think a lot of us don't Maybe not that they would disagree with that, but just don't ever think that, Mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, well, I have this, you know, duty to do this or whatever. And because I would never think that I think until you said it. And then it's like, well, yeah, why am I not providing my own food? I mean, why am I counting on these other people and places to to do that for me? (laughs) That's kind of an interesting concept. I like that. But do I think it's a luxury like in this country? Probably. Yeah. Because... We talked about this a little bit earlier, how like, I mean, a lot of other countries don't have access to, or a lot of people in other countries don't have access to the, well, I mean, <clears throat> food like that we have and other things, among other things like medical health care and stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's a whole other thing, but it is kind of a luxury, but I think that we should recognize and appreciate it and maybe do like what you said, kind of own up to the responsibility that maybe we should take it into our own hands to a point. Yeah. Yeah, we got to own it. We all have this capability. Like, this is super easy. I I had no idea how easy it was, and now I'm like, (laughs) wow, this was fun, and it's super easy. Why am I not doing this? I'm going to do this. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, getting your hands dirty, you know, like building and creating your own perfect soil. Right, and your own perfect soil yeah. based off of three ingredients, right? And then you all of a sudden you're like, oh, oh my God, this is it. This is this is all I need to to make the perfect soil that can grow my 
my veg that's going to feed me. I think it's really cool. Like this might be a little bit out there, maybe, maybe not, but it's cool to have that connection with like what you created. Like, I mean, you make, you mixed this soil and then you planted this, you know, whatever it is, <laughs> potato. <laughs> and it's a sweet potato, a sweet potato, <laughs> whatever. It's a fucking potato. Okay, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, you know, you did that and then, you know, you grow this thing and it's amazing. And it's like, it's cool because I feel like you have like a literal relationship with this plant. Like, I mean, shit, I tasted that compost. I put it in my mouth. I mean, like there was that. <laughs> like, don't laugh. I'm trying to explain yeah. that I think it's a cool feeling to have that kind of a relationship. Like, oh, cool. Like I grew this. Maybe like if you went hunting and you hunted something and you you have sort of a relationship with that animal that you hunted. Mm. Um, something like that. But it's like, oh, cool. Like I did this. I provided this. And you, You're know. making me think, is this what Native Americans think? <laughs> You're looking at me weird. Do you, no. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think so. Is I it, think it, yeah. every, I think you had a relationship with everything. With plants. I mean, you're talking to your plants. Ah, Come on. <laughs> yeah, they're, they are pretty cool. Because they are pretty cool. I, I can't lie. It, they're easier than, than the little animals, right? When I see people walk around with their rodents. Ah, joking. <laughs> Not really. But <laughs> when I see people walking around and then they have their dogs, right? And then they're like, oh, yeah, I got to go take my dog out for a walk or, or anything like that. But then... Besides that emotional connection that a dog provides for you, right? What else does it do, right? But I realized that, yeah, I have a, a nice little emotional connection with these little sweet potatoes. Yeah, and you right? keep telling them how beautiful they are. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at them. It's kind of cool. It's, yeah, they're kind of sexy right now. And you leaves. saw this thing from, you know, it, mm. it's now it's like this big, like flourishing, you this know, beautiful baby. plant. This is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> but... Obviously, when you planted it, it was not. It was tiny, probably like that one over there, right? Yeah, the one we did today. So you've like seen it grow and you're like, wow, it's doing so well. Like mm -hmm. I'm taking care of it and it's taking care of me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, it's yeah. kind of a cool relationship. It is. It's like I always I, I, I go back because I always think about the Smurfs. <laughs> 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 and in, um, in the Smurfs, they, they had this scene it really wasn't a scene but they had the character in there and she was mother nature do you remember mother nature from the smurfs no i don't remember the smurfs very well okay i just showed my age um i remember it like because i know that i watched it but i was like a baby when i watched it oh fuck man i was playing the smurfs on atari um oh my god yeah atari. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was like in the whole the whole point was i gotta rescue smurfette from gigan Mel, also known as gargamel yes right you know but then um but then there was a character in the Smurfs in the cartoon, and then they would always talk to Mother Nature. Mother Nature, Mother Nature, right? But then that's that's that feeling that you get when you're actually able to create an environment that um, other life forms can grow in. Yeah, that was somebody. Somebody. Sorry. Somebody's so rude. They forgot <laughs> to put their phone. My on buttons don't vibrant. work anymore. My uh, my volume buttons don't yeah, work. Yeah, that's an iPhone user. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, Apple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I use Android. Uh, Android's my product. Plus, I use OnePlus One. Shout out. Right. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Yeah, she's like, I don't even know what that is. It's another brand. It sounds like math, and I'm not. Yeah. I don't like oh, that. Oh, it does. <laughs> OnePlus One is two. But if I'm in Common Core, OnePlus One can be three. Oh, my God. I don't even want to go into that. That's the craziest thing mm. ever. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we planted food today we were playing with um container gardening and then we were also playing with container gardening in a very small space right so we did a couple things we got soil we got a container and we got some form of product mm -hmm. you know meaning the the veg the, whatever the, it is that you want to plant yeah and then we were doing a sweet potato and then we planted a sweet potato just to see what's gonna what's gonna happen eventually i forgot the name we named the sweet potato. Ophelia. Yes. yes. <laughs> Ophelia. Ophelia is the name of the sweet potato. But um, she's going to grow. And then we're, we're actually going to see what happens. You, because, yeah, this is, this is just what you should do when you're, when you're in a place like America. 
where you have the opportunity. Yeah, that's the thing is you have every opportunity, every capability. So why not? Mm -hmm. Which you should. Yeah, Definitely. You totally should because I'm not even going to go down the rabbit hole and say, um, just imagine if all people or even the people within a complex, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're living in an, uh, like I said, a co in, in an apartment complex or a condo or, you know, a cul-de-sac or anything like that. Any you, community. Yeah, any small community. And you guys were able to actually grow your own little fucking bed. Or if you were responsible for, like, if that was, what if that was your only option? Mm, what if yeah. you had to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you hear about these food deserts. You always hear, you're constantly hearing about food deserts. You know about the food deserts, right? I don't know. Yeah. So a food desert would, would be um, a, a region or a location within a city that they don't have access to healthy food storage places, right? Um, I posted something like this on the Facebook. Yeah, I called the, it the Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. You're a hundred years old <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> no, no, no. What you on put the it Facebook? on? It was on the Facebook, <laughs> right? You know, but Facebook. I posted something on the Facebook. Fuck that. I'm calling it the Facebook. I like right? it. <laughs> um, but it was about uh, a couple, and what they did was that they actually opened up a store and it was a um a farmer's market store and it was completely ran by kiosk right so you would walk into the store and then all you would do is you would check out your your groceries and things like that but they were all fresh fresh groceries mm -hmm. right but then they were in a rural area and then within this rural area they could not normally get these vegetables out there right because of the cost it was too high right but now they were able to actually get it out there and the people were able to buy it okay so Scratch that. Just take another hop up from that and imagine you being able to grow your own vegetables in your own flat. You know, and I'm living in, you know, this place is like 420. I like saying that, 420. <laughs> <laughs> right? But um, uh, uh, my studio is about like 420, 425, whatever. I don't even know. Right? But I'm trying to grow the maximum amount of vegetation that I can in here in order to feed myself or whomever else comes over. And I think that should be the goal of everyone. You fed me a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> a that was great. Leaf. Damn it. Yeah, okay, this is still a work in progress. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, you know, just imagine if everybody could do that, like, you know, over at your flat. Sure. How many plants do you think that you can grow oh my God. in the spaces you have? Many. Mm. I mean, how many buckets? I could, I wouldn't keep these buckets inside probably because of my cats, but mm -hmm. if I could, meow. Meow, <laughs> I would have, I could have several in each room. Cause mm. Not that my place is huge, but like it's big enough. It's probably, mm. it's probably 700 plus square feet. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then now you just, you've just gone back to the old school, um, old school way that people lived back in the day. Because you would have an area, you would have a location. Okay, yeah, granted, we live here in America, and a lot of people do not own their locations, mm -hmm. right? You know, but you can have storage containers, and these storage containers are mobile, right? Mm -hmm. You know, which means that your food now is mobile, right? And that's something that a lot of people from back in the day didn't have, right? Sure. So, so if you look at the basic economic structure of most societies, you had producers, you had distributors, and then you had debtors, right? And the debtors is when you ended up selling your food, mm -hmm. right? You know, so now if you can produce your own food, right? You can produce your own food to where you feed yourself, right? Now you can distribute your own food to where you say, oh, these are my friends. These are my family. This is the crew. This is what I like. They need to eat too, right? So now you can distribute this food amongst them. And then if you have excess, you can also make money. Sure. Yeah, right. that's ideal. That's yeah. like the perfect situation with this. Yeah. You have enough for yourself, the people that you care about and want to, you know, you want to mm. feed your family and your friends. And then you have extra because mm. you're like, well, God, look at all this. Because look at how much, I mean, like we talked about, like you're obviously growing that sweet potato for like the potato, but mm. all of the leaves and stuff, like that's all edible too. Mm. So you have a lot more than you even really anticipated. So you're like, oh, look at all this extra. Yeah. And I'm just one person. And this yeah. is just a trial run. Sure. Right? So then if you were able to, you know, create some form of framework, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to create a framework, 
Right. And then if you have a framework to where that you can have something that's reproducible, what science, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, there's something that's reproducible and then you can just continuously eat off of something like this and then also share it with your friends and your family. Right. And then all of a sudden, you, you know, let's just say I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, but of course, I'm a Bitcoin evangelist. Right. And, <laughs> and I do love blockchain technology, but then they also have this other um, service out there now it's called open bazaar and then within open bazaar you can create your own little individual store right so you can have the is that on the deep web no it's on the regular really? web. really yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay. so, so i don't you, know anything about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i've been watching this for a while now right so now you can actually create your own store right to where you can create transactions with with each other right and you can say hey you know what i'm selling fresh vegetables Right. I'm selling fresh vegetables at this spot right here and within my neighborhood, you can come here and then you can pay me whatnot, you know, for for these vegetables. But of course, you would be using something like a cryptocurrency, uh, e Bitcoin or something yeah. like that. And then from there, you have have another tool, you know, or another store of value that you can go out there and buy other things that you might need for your vegetable garden or, or anything like that. But what you've done is that you just created a whole economy that everybody can flourish on. Interesting. Mm. What is it called? What bazaar? Open bazaar. Open bazaar. Yeah. That's a great idea. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to put you on open bazaar. <laughs> yeah. The, you are? Yeah. That's my dream. I, I would love to get you to, to use Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with yeah. it. I don't know. You spend it. Use it. Utilize it. Yeah. But just to, 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 to allow you to have access into this different world, which means that now you have access to a completely different group of people that you can, dare I say, sell things to. <laughs> yeah, you can sell things to, but it would be something that would be um, voluntary. Uh -huh. You know, it's like, ah, I'm going to buy something from Tame a Lion. <laughs> I like saying that name. But, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to buy something from Tame a Lion. Why? Because she produces something that's really good. You know, and plus I like her story. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to like start <laughs> making something then <laughs> or growing something that you want to buy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you did make artwork. I made Before. all those. I made jewelry a little bit. Yeah. This is, I I don't have my Etsy shop anymore. I closed it down. So I'm wearing now all of the things that I made. You closed down your Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really doing anything. Do you still have um a lot of your product? I do. Hmm. Yeah. I have okay. Several plain necklaces like this, and I just like a lot of bracelets that I don't I don't really enjoy making them the way that I used to. Wait. Because it was kind of a. It was sort of an outlet for me, like, because I needed something new, but I did, a, I made, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, hundreds of these, and then I was like, ah, oh, man, I'm tired of that. <laughs> mm. But, I mean, I still, it's cool, but I don't know. Yeah. So I'm ready for something new. Like what? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Huh. I haven't come across it yet. Yeah. Okay. No, my mind is thinking about different projects and things like that. Oh, well, that's another topic of discussion. <laughs> yeah. That's next week. Yeah, next week. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So should we talk about like just the how very quick and easy the prep is to do this? Like what we did? Yeah, go for to, it. So, I mean, because I made notes so that I can take this home and do it <laughs> for myself. <laughs> and basically, it's like, so you've, you, you've got your two buckets, these five-gallon buckets. Um, and to prep them you have so you have an inner bucket and an outer one the inner one is the one where you're going to drill several small holes in the bottom however many you feel like is sufficient mm. i suppose um and, yeah, that's, and the purpose of the holes is for drainage oh yeah so that allows for any of the excess water to go into the outer bucket why are you making that face at my I'm beer looking for alcohol oh <laughs> god damn it <laughs> um so then we, after we, you know, we had prepped the, or, you know, created the soil mixture that we talked about, the compost, peat moss, vermiculite, you fill the inner bucket with the holes approximately six inches with that soil mixture, mm -hmm. and then place the sweet potato 
basically in the center because we only had one. I know you said that if you had two, you could do one on each side. So you kind of buried it most of the way and then covered it up so that the tip and the top leaves were still exposed and then watered it and it's good to go. Well, and also we tied a string around the two bucket handles to keep them together. Yeah. yeah. So this might sound a little bit convoluted. I can't even say it. Convoluted. Convoluted. <laughs> yeah, but um, the reason why we did all that is because we were growing, or we're, we're attempting to grow tubers, right? So you need a deep area to grow tubers because they're roots, right? So now if you were growing something else like a spinach or a radish or a kale or a celery or um, cucumbers or anything like that, you don't need to have a five-gallon bucket to grow it you know you only need something that's about like six inches deep ha <laughs> ha that's what she said uh, right but <laughs> i'm like six inches that's like four <laughs> goddamn women right <laughs> so, <laughs> so so you don't need something um as deep as a five gallon bucket but the the goal with the five gallon bucket is to to eventually have it full of nice healthy tubers yeah and then tubers grow deep deep in in the soil yeah yeah but she just broke it down you know in that was just basically all we did and it just mm -hmm. seemed so easy mm -hmm. um this is probably a dumb question and i didn't ask you this earlier but so that looks like very healthy and like flourishing but how do you know when the actual like like vegetable underneath the soil is ready to like when can you uh, start doing when that when can you harvest yeah. it yeah do I they forgot. start to oh okay so yeah i totally forgot because i read this but then i know it, sweet potatoes take they take about like six months oh really yeah it's wow. like a, it's a six month process okay. for it to grow so i know you start early spring right mm -hmm. and then you don't end until you know late summer late summer okay right um but of course with it being a tropical fruit but then i'm not sure because since this is all indoors I don't know if you can like You might speed be accelerating up. it too because mm. I mean that's like obviously Yeah. very healthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I know that the leaves are supposed to look a specific way um once they're ready to be harvested, right? Mm. But I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, I, so I, looking into that then yeah, we'll have to check. Yeah. Yeah, because right now it's just exciting just growing something. It is exciting. Yeah. But it's cool to see how like big that is compared I mean, and I'm like, Oh my god, this is gonna look like that soon. Mm, yeah. When did you plant that? How long has that been there? That's only been there for a month. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a month. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, in the ace hardware buckets. Yeah. Well and the other thing that we can I guess we can talk about quick is the compost that you showed me because I know so the mixture that we made with the soil, um, that was the compost that you bought, but you also have your own compost in the back, which we probably could use. Yeah, yeah, because I think everybody should be composting mm -hmm. because then you can still become Mother Nature, <laughs> right? But you can still become steward, stewards of nature, which is what we should be doing. Um, but yeah, just recycling all the all the products that you actually use from the vegetables that you're slicing up, the eggshells, the coffee. Yeah, egg shells, and I think if coffee. you think about it, like, these are things that people probably are like, oh, I'm going to throw this in the trash because, like, you don't eat it. So yeah. what do you do? You throw it in the trash. Garbage disposal, whatever. But you Super could, lazy. Yeah, it's and it's, it is lazy. I just, mm. I mean, I, I don't have a compost and I never think about it. But now I'm like, well, shoot, why don't I just do that? Mm. I have a back area. Mm. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, and you can easily build it. Yeah. A rubber made trash can. Sure. Drill some holes in it. Why? So air can percolate through it. Uh, should I say percolate? That's just a fun word to Filtrate? say. Filtrate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you want the air. You want the air just to be able to diffuse. It would be really smelly mm. if it didn't have holes, I think. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Ew, gross. Ew. But um That's for the hot compost maybe. Mm. Yeah, 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 but that that's going to be the next project that that we might do, but it'll just be showing um, what well, we might talk about, just making a hot compost versus a cold compost mm -hmm. or whatever it is, right? But just I think most people, like, this is cold compost, right? Like, th yeah. that style. Yeah. yeah. I think that's probably the yeah. most common. Yeah, and then cold composting just means it just takes a lot longer than a you're not Because you're not monitoring the temperature, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's very, it's just taking its own time. It's naturally happening. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. And I like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I guess this was fun. I thought it was fun. I loved it. And I am excited to like do this for myself now. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think you're going to grow? Oh, you're going to grow some tubers? Can I do? I mean, I just, I don't love sweet potatoes, but I would just do regular potatoes, like, like red what, what, ones. Oh, like, what about fingerlings? Those are the little ones? The little tiny ones. I could do those. I yeah. Could, I would attempt that. Yeah, sure. that would be interesting to try. But yeah, you can do any of any of the ones. I mean, in allegedly. Basically, yeah, any of those. It's the same principle, right? Mm, I mean, it is. I would definitely do that. Definitely, maybe get some little planters and do some kind of greens. Probably spinach. Probably yeah. not radishes because they're yucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not yeah. yucky. They're not my favorite. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Full disclosure: the reason why I chose spinach and radishes. Is because they're fast growing. They're fast growing. I veg. like that though. I think yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. But then she said radishes are yucky. They hurt my tongue. Yeah. I think that they just have. They're okay in like a small amount, like in a salad, but. They're too hot. I don't know. Yeah, I guess they're hot. Mm. But they're not the kind of hot that I like. Like I love like hot <laughs> sauce. Sriracha. Yeah, I like <laughs> I love like spicy, but it's like a weird kind of spicy, and it makes my tongue like tickly and hot. I don't know. <laughs> You can get rid of that. <laughs> uh, it makes my tongue tickling and hot. Just get rid of what I just said. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> no, that was fine. Yeah. But I think it's a good idea. I like the idea of planting something that you know is fast growing. And I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'm going to attempt some of the things that we did today. Yeah. Yeah, but then the the cool thing, I I'm gonna take pictures of what you do, what it is that you do if you allow me to, right? But yeah, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll snap photos of it. But then you know you can just like keep documentation actually going on, and then um you, seeing what's what's happening, especially in San Diego, right? Because I did read an article the other day, and it said that San Diego is gearing up to be 100 percent renewable energy. I saw that. I saw that you posted that mm. on the Facebook. <laughs> the Facebook. It's just fun to say. I posted it on the Facebook. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know, but any town that is gearing up to be 100% renewable energy, then, um, yeah, I think each individual citizen, uh, whatever, if you want to call yourself that, right? But each individual person should also be trying to gear up to be 100% independent themselves. Sure. That's fair. Mm. But Why? I like that people are interested in it. I like that people here are excited about that. Yeah. I have a neighbor. His name is Eric. And um, I was walking, walking because, you know, of course, I walk every day mm -hmm. because I'm super healthy. <laughs> Joking. Um, not really. But <laughs> um, but then uh, he was uh, him and his wife or his significant other. I don't know who she was. Um, they were they were back there. They were putting up a raised bed garden. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, and it was pretty cool. But then I wanted to know, well, what was he going to grow? You know, what what was he going to grow? And I'm going to check in on him, you know, periodically because I told him what I was growing. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just cool when you can actually interface with other people that are growing things in their little community. Yeah, and I, I think it's kind of, I like that we're seeing more of that. I think more people are catching on to, like, how important it is and how efficient it is and cost effective it is and like it's fun too it's mm. kind of just a cool project to have and super easy I yeah mean, feeling all native-y <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's cool too because it's like we're in a city i mean and we're doing these you know very what things that were once only done like like in farms like i, know, I mean right so it's kind of, that's a totally different concept and it's cool that we're I like a little bit of both. Yeah, that's a, that is a good concept to think about. Like, this was a farm. What we're doing, that people people did this on massive lots of land. Then they had to wake up early in the morning, and then they go milk the cow and do this and do that. And then we're doing it for a hobby. Sure. Right? How crazy is that? We're doing it for <laughs> a fucking right, hobby. Right, because like you said, I mean, it's it's not that hard to go to Trader Joe's. Like, it's that's usually what we do, but this is cool this is like i think it's just very efficient and i think it's part of sustainability like we were talking about it's it's a step towards being food secure 
Mm, you just put my mind on a completely different path because our hobbies, and when I say our hobbies, I'm meaning people from the West, you know, um, our hobbies end up becoming staples for other cultures, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, because like our hobby was the internet. It still is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our yeah. hobby is that, you know, yeah, we have this little thing called the Internet. And the Internet is probably the most disruptive weapon that the world has ever seen. Definitely. Right. And then now the Internet has become a staple for our culture and other cultures. Right. And I yeah. think that food security could be the same thing. You know, like what sure, it is we that just we're doing. Need for other, yeah, they need to catch on. Mm. We're like world leaders. Like. We're, we're the trendsetters. We're like, oh, this internet thing, it's great. It's super cool. And then it became a platform for everybody to to connect and be like, oh, yeah, this is great. And yeah. this is something that needs to catch on. Yeah, because of the internet, now, I was able to find all this information on, you know, like how to grow the veg, um, how to put together a drip system, which I haven't yet. Um, how That'll to, be interesting. I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. How to do all these different things so that you can become food secure. And then once you're food secure, then that means that you no longer really have to work um, as much for someone else because now you have more free time because top three things that we spend our money on are food, shelter, transportation, mm-hmm. right? So if you can figure out how to reduce those those costs, then that means you have more time to create cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. And spend less of your money on shit that you're now doing for yourself. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that is then, very cool. And then have more parties. And then have more parties, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I guess that was a fun segment <laughs> episode. Am I losing you? No. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I you're guess not. that was a fun segment. No, no, you're not losing me. <laughs> okay. Because I'm trying to think of, um, okay, another full disclosure. Um, the podcast name is changing. And I guess it's, it, I'm debating whether or not it, it, it was going from Mind Slut. Mind Slut! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was just so fun to say. But it was it was going from Mind Slut because I guess Mind Slut just like offended way too many people. You know, because they were like, oh my God. You I didn't think it was slut. that offensive. Yeah, but... I fucking love it. Yeah, I love... But I like your other one. Yeah. Because it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but then going to the, the Renegade Mine. Yeah. You know, and then Renegade Mine essentially is just a platform. Um, but I'm wondering if it's just a platform that Mine Slot. <laughs> <laughs> I just like saying it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it. It could just be something just um, as far as a platform that that it can sit on. But then maybe it just doesn't have to have a name at all. Yeah, maybe it could just be... I guess it doesn't have to. No, I mean, if Renegade Mind is, like, the platform and then this is just, like, the podcast or, the, you know, the talk yeah. that we do. Like, yeah, it's just a podcast. Right? I think maybe we tried to... Well, I mean, I wouldn't even say we tried to do too much, but we kind of set it up with, like, a name and an intro and all of that. And that's probably why it took so long, because we were, like... We were taking, like, an hour and a half to do these, uh, like, segments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was super fun. I think mm-hmm. it was just kind of a trial and error and then kind of figure out what we need to cut out and Mm. so yeah yeah so yeah maybe just going this way and then just just having scratch out that mind slut thing yeah (laughs) yeah no it's still one i still love it you can still say it (laughs) (laughs) yeah tattoo Mm -hmm. hashtag Uh, mind slut (laughs) oh shit hashtag mind slut yeah because i'm still putting it on that twitter Instagram. The, is it the Twitter? Or oh, nah, I can't call it the Twitter. No? Yeah, just, yeah, I'm going to tweet. Okay. Yeah, tweet on Twitter. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, it's just, just that concept, you know, because, yeah, it's still, it's still people. It's still, you know, us using our, our greatest gift ever, our mind, um, to try to figure out the world that we live in and then how to navigate it and then just how to make it better. Yeah, yeah, we're we're working on it. Yeah, how to make it better? I love one of the funnest things. Funnest? I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> um, one of the coolest things that happened today was, and you did this more than one time. After we, during while we were planting 
the sweet potato and afterwards you were like i love my life (laughs) that was amazing i was like more people need to think about that in the moment when they're doing something really cool and really awesome yeah. in good company <laughs> it, it, right you know because I love that, my life. yeah that's that's the whole i love that yeah company and then the actual thing that it is that you're doing i think that's like so Be, and being present important. and like being like wow we're doing this this yeah. is so cool yeah it is yeah fuck man fuck. i wish more of us would think like that and now i'm projecting well, everyone's going to hear this now, and they're all going to think like us. <laughs> ah, yeah. Or they'll just hate. Like, who, 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 who do they think they are? Who do these people think they are? Oh, I was getting ready to go on a rant. Now. Oh, go on a rant. Yeah, I was Please. thinking about racism. Oh boy. But I'm not. That could be another. <laughs> that could be another topic. Maybe yeah. we can. Yeah, maybe we can have a, a conversation about that for sure later. You know, especially with you just being. Who you are coming from Massachusetts, mm-hmm. mass hole, mass hole, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, that's a pretty diverse place, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's a very um, left, um, yeah, it's pretty liberal, very liberal state. Yeah, I don't know what that means anymore. Well, yeah, it's it's diverse. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh well, well, I guess you ready to tap out. Uh, yeah, I think I think we covered everything that we set out to mm-hmm, talk about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this was fun. This was fun, and mm-hmm. I'm excited to see the progress. Mm-hmm. And then I'm excited to also do this mm-hmm. at my house. You mm-hmm. can come take pictures. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because food sustainability is that no food su- security? Uh, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> But, it's yeah, be. Shra, shra, shra. <laughs> yeah, but food security. Food security is super, super important. Why? Because that's one of our, our base things. You know, food, water, shelter. Once you have that out of the way, yeah, you can create some really badass shit. So um, food security in spaces that we live in. Yeah, I guess that, that, that is the topic like of discussion. It. Yeah. I think that, we did a good job. Yeah, we did. We crushed it. Crushed it. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> I guess until um next time. Until next time. Yeah, tapping out, bitches. Dropping the mic. Mic drop, and I'm out. <laughs> no, not I'm out. Cause it's a we. It's a collective we. All right, we're out. Yeah, and we're out, bitches. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs>